Hey, what's up guys, Eskazoo here, and welcome to episode 17 of Skill Into Glory. And uh, in the previous episode, we managed to claim the Division 5 title, and that means in this episode, we're going to be moving on to a next division, which is Division 4, and then uh, we're going to be playing the first three games today. So, um, yeah, going on what will be the first game of the episode, coming up against a La Liga side in the 5-3-2 formation. And uh, we started things off after seven minutes, a decent attack here with Muriel, a great back heel there to Ellen, who plays it on through here to Douglas Costa, but I was a little bit too confident that the chip would go in. I think a little bit more power was uh, was definitely needed. Then 12 minutes, my opponent did get himself a big chance here too with Adoris, which he just managed to tap wide. So um, two big chances already on both sides of the game. We picked the ball up here on the left-hand side with Douglas Costa, some great skill moves here, great volley as well. But a good block there from his defender too. So immediately afterwards we pick up a corner and we get ourselves another chance here. Not with Muriel unfortunately but yet again with Douglas Costa's third chance of the game. It wasn't third time lucky because again Ter Stegen was there with a good save. Then uh, we move on yet again Douglas Costa on the ball there. He was definitely the, the best player on our side. Uh, plays it on through to Muriel with some great skill moves. Pass it back to Douglas Costa who stays calm and shoots it into the top corner to finally get the lead in this game. Then uh, we're still in the first half. Some beautiful stuff there from Muriel. A really nice way to beat the defender. Plays it on through to Perotti. A really nice body feint and a bit of LTRT dribbling, which looked a bit weird. But nonetheless, we put it into the bottom corner to make it 2 0 just before half time. And uh, it was obviously the perfect way to go into the second half. Then we continue on all the way in the 80th minute here with Ellen, who goes 1 1 and taps it in as well to make it 3 0. And that is also how the game would end up. So uh, a great victory for us where we just completely dominate the whole game pretty much. My opponent had one chance at the start of the game. That was about it. So, um, yeah, definitely deserved win for us in this game. Then uh, we move into what will be the second game of the episode. And uh, we came up against a pretty decent Premier League side with some uh, great uh, attacking players as well in Martial and also Sane. So, uh, great looking squad to come up against. And uh, we started things off again really early on. This time with Ellen here. Plays it on through to uh, Quadrado. Who goes with a volley there. A good save from his goalkeeper. Then from the rebound, he saved it twice there again. And I think we definitely should have at least, at least score there but his goalkeeper Butland uh, made some incredible saves to uh, keep him into the game that early already then uh, from a counter here from a corner actually he went through here with Martial and he was seriously just way too fast to be able to catch up and you can see from the radar as well and also just on the on the screen that two of his attackers were coming up and uh, it was actually Long who taps it in for an open that makes it 1-0 in the game and um, yeah, it gives him the lead instead of actually us getting the early goal. The 30th minute, another big chance on his side here with Coutinho. A great save there from Perrin. Then we move on 38th minute. A few minutes later, uh, we get some really nice one-two passing here between Allen and Moura, who does get a shot in as well. And it's the crossbar. So again, the finishing uh, on our side wasn't uh, wasn't that great. Then into the second half, we go. We picked up a free kick, and I just kept on passing it to a player, which I thought anyway had a decent shot. But then all of a sudden, Wendell was there, who took a shot with his weaker foot, which was just horrible. And um, yeah, the goalkeeper was there with a really really easy save. So also in the second half, we create more and more chances, but the shots weren't that great. Uh, we did get a great shot in here though with Douglas Costa, but again a good save from his goalkeeper Butland. Then 67th minute from a corner, I made some changes just before that and it's actually Niang the super sub who makes it 1-1 and uh, makes it all even in the game. The 73rd minute, he also brought on some players with the likes of uh, Dybala who was on the ball right there. Who uh, actually beat my uh, player there with a great skill with a great uh, fake shot to beat him. Then he plus it across there to Valencia, his right back who was completely free. Shoots across goal, makes it 2-1 and um, yeah, gives him the lead back in the game. So um, yeah, we pretty much had to start all over again. Otherwise, we we're going to lose this game. I think I was on an all-out attack at this point. Quadrado here, I just should have passed it across here. Went with the shot, which got deflected. Easy save for a keeper and um, that is how the game ended. So really annoying to lose a game like this, even though in general, I think we had just a few more uh, shots on target than my opponent. But um, the finishing in this game just completely let us down, which was uh, really, really frustrating. So um, yeah, we lost the first game in uh, in Division 4, which is annoying. Then we move now what will be the final game of the episode, and we come up against a really strong Premier League side with uh, the main man up front there, Ibrahimovic. I think the first time for me playing against him. So um, yeah, it was going to be a tough game. We started things off in the 10th minute really early on. Some great stuff here with Ben Yedder, who gets the early goal here already. And um, yeah, just an awesome way to uh, actually start off this game, even though 
compared to the previous game we just had some big problems scoring uh, it actually uh, started off really good in this game and also with a different team of course uh, then for the event my opponent did get himself a chance here too with Sturridge uh, unlucky for him not to get the rebound there with Ericsson they're going into the second half straight from kickoff we go on a really nice run here with Musonda beating a few of his players plays it on through here to Ben Yedder. I tried to go for a shot across goal went near post instead and uh, a good save there from Schmeichel then uh, a few minutes later he picked up a corner and I knew that was going to be one player which I just had to mark and that was Ibrahimovic and he was actually the one who scored near post a uh, great header across goal and um, yeah he makes it all even and after that it went really really quick he makes it 2-1 here with Sturridge wasn't able to catch up with him and after that he just kept on dominating pretty much in the second half creating more and more chances here a free kick from Ibrahimovic picked up another corner this time it was by who makes it 3-1 and just within a few minutes he just took the lead like he was just completely dominating the whole game basically even though in the first half he didn't create much here as well 4-1 against Sturridge and um, yeah it was basically already game over I did create more chances here though with uh, Ben Yedder really weak shot which I think just should have been a lot better then 86 minutes uh, again I decide to bring on Niang who does get himself a goal a really nice one a bit of a mix between a volley and a chip shot looked really nice so we made it 4-2 I thought we maybe had one chance or something to maybe make it like even or something. But when he made it 5-2 here with Ibrahimovic, I knew it was game over. Because looking at the time, we only had like two minutes after something. And you just can't like can't score three goals in, in such a short period. Then uh, in 90th minute, in the extra time, we did get ourselves another chance here with Niang. Which I think should have been a goal. But an incredible save there again from Schmeichel. And that's unfortunately how the game ends. And uh, you can see from the stats, it was a really, really even game. I think it's just because we basically dominated the first half he dominated the second half and um, he actually had the better place to actually score which was uh, frustrating for us but um, that definitely is the case when you have players like Ibrahimovic on your team but anyway guys that is pretty much going to be the end hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated so thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys later bye bye